Hello and welcome again to this exciting video. In this video, we will write code for an exciting use case which is to track and count the number of vehicles moving on a highway. Our code will take input this video and it will convert it into this. Sounds exciting, isn't it? We are going to use deep sort technique for object tracking and for object detection, we are going to employ YOLO to our use. So before further ado, let's jump and start our journey. Let me first draw the outline of our problem statement. So what we are going to do, let me first open the video so that I can explain it clearly. Okay, so here is our sample video and the problem statement is that we are going to track each and every moving vehicle on this video. Idea is that each vehicle should be assigned a unique ID and the moment it passes a particular line, we should be able to count that vehicle as well. So let's see how we are going to solve this problem. Let us look at basic structure of our object tracking code model. So overall, there are four basic steps involved here. First of all, we are going to load our model. In our case, it is YOLO model. You can use also your custom model if you have trained it on your custom data. And then we will load our video. Once we have loaded our model and video, we will try to predict on each and every frame of our video and we will store the results of each frame. Now here the stored results will be passed into our deep sort algorithm and using deep sort algorithm, we will assign unique ID to our each predicted object in a particular frame. And once we have assigned ID to our object, we will start tracking each ID. Now, how do we start tracking each ID and how do we assign ID to each predicted object in a particular frame? That's what we are going to see using our code. So before we start our coding exercise, I would suggest you to have a look at the earlier video in which I have explained how we can do object detection on top of a video. In this video, we are using the same code from the earlier video and this function is an extension from the earlier video. So it will give you a better understanding of how and what is happening inside this function. Now let's start our object tracking code. For object tracking, we need deep sort library. So let me import all the deep sort library and image utils as well. We have all the necessary libraries we need for our object tracking. So next step is to create an object tracking object using deep sort. So let me create an object tracking object using deep sort. There it is. Now here we have created the object tracker using our deep sort and we have left all the arguments inside this function added as it is with its default values. We can play around with these values in future but for the time being let's keep it more simple and minimalistic. Before we start our manipulation on each and every frame on the video let me just run and show you the output of this code which we are using from the earlier video. Let's just run and show you just to revise the things again. Perfect. If you're able to see if we are able to detect each and every moving vehicle on this road. So idea is that we should be able to detect this vehicle. Along with that, we should be able to assign a unique ID to this car so that we are able to track this vehicle throughout this video frame. And we should be also able to tell whether this car has crossed a particular line. We will define that line in future. Results here contain all the prediction of each frame. Result has all the values we need for tracking and assigning unique ID to each object in our detection. Now to start tracking each object, we need details from this result in a particular form. So let's look at the exact format we need the values from this detail. So result contains all the prediction on particular frame and here from result we are going to extract x, y coordinates of the bonding box and height and width in the form of x, y, h and w then we are going to need the confidence of the detected object and then we are going to need the id of particular detected class all of this data will be combined in the form of a tuple and then this tuple will be assigned in a list so that this list contains the multiple tuple and each tuple will have all the details of x y h w confidence and id of each and every detection from our frame so now let's create the function which will decipher the contents from the result in that particular format we need. Let me copy the code to make my life easy. So this is the function get details. Input to this function is results and image. This is the exact result which contains all the data of detection on a particular frame. From this result, we are going to extract these three details, classes, confidence score and x, y, w, h. From this, we are going to create a tuple here. We are assigning each and every tuple into this detection. 
this is for a one particular frame so all the detections in a particular frame are now inside this detection and we are returning this detection as it is so let us utilize this get detail function so let me get the details here now since we have all the details in the particular format we need let me utilize the tracker function from the deep sort and let me supply all the detail here so here we are supplying the details which we have extracted from here so this is on per frame so every frame and we are passing the frame here as well so all the details of a particular frame is now inside this track now let's create a for loop to decipher the content inside this track So inside these tracks we are iterating through each and every track and we are extracting the track id here and here we are trying to get the bounding box coordinates of each and every track object here now let me try to put a text on each and every tracked object here so here the text is the track id here so it should be unique to each and every bounding box which we are detecting in a frame we have utilized cv.puttext function to put the text on top of our bounding box we have utilized the bonding box coordinates coordinate x and coordinate y here here we are extracting the coordinate this is the font and this is the font size here this is the color of our font so ideally what this function will do this will assign each unique id on top of our bonding box and we will be able to see in our detection so let's run our code and see whether we are able to showcase this or not each and every vehicle here has been assigned a unique id now let me change the color of this id to make it more visible just me let me stop it now each and every vehicle here you can see it's perfectly displaying the unique id assigned to it and this id remains same throughout the frames of this video so if it has been assigned an id of 15 so throughout the video frame this id will remain as it is so basically what it means we are able to track this object by assigning the particular id for example if id 8 is here this id will remain as it is throughout the video that means it's a unique object to this earlier in earlier version of video where when we were doing object detection we were just detecting this object as vehicle and vehicle here we are discriminating between the two object vehicle 1 and vehicle 2 congratulations we are able to track the objects in a video by assigning it unique id to it but our use case doesn't end there we also have to count the number of mobile vehicles on that particular road so let me create a function which will draw a line on that road which will be reference point to counting the number of vehicles moving in and out through that point now to save time let me copy the code from my earlier version and there it is so draw line function is nothing but the moment you supply any image to it it will draw the line on top of that image and it will return the image to you so let's just run this and see so before that let me just call this function draw line where should i call this function let me call it here on each frame perfect let's just run and see where it is drawing the line perfect so we are able to draw the line here and idea here is that once we are able to assign the id to each moving object if that moving object crosses this line we will count that object otherwise we will not count that object and by moving object here we mean the cars or any sort of vehicle it can be truck car any bicycle so let's head on to our coding part again let's create an if statement in fact before creating if statement let me explain you the logic behind it so, so idea is that here is our bonding box with x y coordinate here and here is our line so the moment this coordinate crosses this line in that case we are going to count it so we are only observing the y coordinate here so we we will so we will compare this y with this y here so idea is that x remains constant and we will be only con comparing if y dash so y dash here represents this if y dash is greater than this y value here that means we are going to count it simple logic isn't it so let's apply this mathematics in our code let me create the if statement here so there it is so i have copied the code from my earlier version so if bb box here we let me just delete this we don't need here so here we are comparing the y coordinate here and i have also created a catch which will keep in track to not to count a particular id twice so here we are appending the id and we are counting here 
and cv.put function we are utilizing to put the text on top of our screen this is the coordinate of our cv.put text code this is the font and this is the color of our font here so all good let's just run and see whether we are able to count the vacuole or not so there is one issue here our count is only appearing when there is an alignment of y coordinate with y dash coordinate so let me just solve it by putting this text it's super easy we will just copy this text and put it here there you go we have our vacuole count here and the moment any car crosses this line the count will increase now let me slow down the frame to have a more detailed look let's in decrease the frame at 500 and let's run it again so our vacuole count is coming here count is 3 so let's concentrate on id4 if it crosses this line it should come as 4 here Perfect. The moment the midpoint crossed, it, the count is count is equal to count plus one. The log logic is perfectly working here. Let there is one more issue here. We are only interested in tracking car and trucks, and sometimes it's also tracking the person inside this. To solve this problem, let's supply the exact ID name inside our class. Perfect. So we are only interested in cars and trucks. So and let's see. So you see we are not tracking any person inside this car we are only tracking car 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 uh, i don't know why it's coming as truck here sometime this car is coming as truck you see now again it will come to car that's confusing well done congratulations on making this far in next video we will try to count the number of moving cattle in a field till then bye bye